Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here again. Today I'm going to talk about converting seahorses to freshwater. If you weren't aware, seahorses are saltwater fish. They do live in the ocean. But ever since people started keeping seahorses in the home aquarium in the United States starting about the 1950s, there has been an attempt to convert seahorses to freshwater. One reason that some people thought this was possible was due to an article that was released in 1916 about reports of freshwater seahorses found in the Mekong River. Well, no freshwater seahorses were ever found after that original report, but that didn't stop aquarists from trying to convert seahorses themselves. And one of the reasons they wanted to do that is keeping a freshwater aquarium is much less complicated than keeping a saltwater aquarium. If you've ever kept a marine aquarium of any kind, you know there is much more involved and much more to be measured and kept track of compared to a freshwater aquarium. So there were experiments done trying to convert seahorses to fresh water. Now, people who do keep saltwater aquariums have different ways of measuring the salt levels. Some people refer to it as specific gravity. And in a typical saltwater aquarium, that range on a device that we use to measure salt levels called a hydrometer usually falls between 1.018 and 1.023. And although there are different definitions of brackish water, once you start falling somewhat below that range, you fall into that category of brackish, which essentially means water that has some salt in it, but not as strong as what you would find in the ocean or even in marine aquariums. In addition to rumors of their possibly being freshwater seahorses, it was also known that there are a number of species of fish who live in brackish waters that can easily be adapted to live in full fresh water, which has a minimal salt, or full salt strength equivalent to the ocean. So people were hopeful they could use this concept to convert seahorses. And in fact, there is a report of one aquarist from the 1960s who worked with a different variety of species of seahorses. And over time, he gradually reduced their levels of salt, moving way down below that 1.018 mark gradually moving them down successfully to 1.011. However, time and time again, once the salinity dropped to 1.010, the seahorses would die consistently. So at this time, it does not seem like seahorses can live or even survive in salt levels measured with a hydrometer that fall below that 1.011 mark. So at this time, if you're interested in keeping seahorses, you're really going to have to learn what it takes to keep a salt water aquarium. Thanks so much for joining me. I always appreciate you here with me. Take care.